Commander in Chief is in Kansas City, specifically 18th and Brooklyn at Arthur Bryant's, and we believe. Do you see him? Nope, nope. I believe. Uh, yeah, we just got word that he's about to leave Arthur Bryant's. Okay, Haley Harrison is on the scene, and Haley sees him, so let's go live, live out to her. Haley? And Laura, if you can see to the right of our shot here, just under the awning outside of Arthur Bryant's, the president is somewhere within that group of people talking to some folks outside of the restaurant. He just left the restaurant, and there he is walking behind that pole and into the car. He's in a blue button down shirt with the sleeves rolled up. You might be able to catch a glimpse of him standing there among Secret Service agents and other security, giving a wave as he steps into his vehicle. And the motorcade is now off on its way to his hotel, where, of course, Scott McDonald is. I'm sure he'll be there as soon as the president arrives tonight. But, of course, this Kansas City restaurant, Arthur Bryant's, has never been so popular as it was tonight. Dozens of people, maybe even hundreds, came down here to see the president to catch that very glimpse that we all saw of him walking out to the car. We understand that the president had a half slab of ribs, water, Bud Light, uh, fries and beans. He wanted some cold slaw, but they were sold out. Not even any left over for the president. Um, the pool photographers and reporters that usually travel with his motorcade um, went inside briefly to catch the order and uh, were ushered back out of the restaurant as he sat down with those four Kansas Cityans who had written him letters, those people. He wanted to meet with one on one to sit and talk about. Uh, the economy and how their lives are going. Of course, a lot of these other people out here would sure like an opportunity to sit down and shake the president's hand and talk to him as well. Um, we also heard that there was a girls' fast pitch softball team inside the restaurant when the motorcade arrived. Can you imagine the reaction from those 16 year old girls as the president walked in? And you can see now the motorcade is just pulling away. Down Brooklyn Avenue here in Kansas City. That softball team we understand are the Titans. They're from Glenview, Illinois. They are playing in the fast pitch softball World Series, which we understand is in Independence, Missouri tonight. Uh, the president sat down with those uh, four Kansas Cityans. That was a big, um, big event that was happening during his two day trip here to Kansas City. Of course, the other big event tomorrow happening at the Uptown Theater. We were in uh, the Northland tonight as the president arrived at the airport. We pulled over to the side of the road near 64th Street to watch his motorcade come down the highway. We were joined by a couple dozen excited kids and uh, other Kansas Cityans, people who just wanted the opportunity to maybe catch a glimpse of the president driving by. We did see him. We could see him sitting in the back of that limousine talking to his passenger as he rode by. Those kids were very excited to give all of those waves and uh, big smiles, of course, to the president as he left Kansas City tonight. So the president is leaving Arthur Bryant, has left the building, and is on his way to the hotel where he will spend the night ahead of tomorrow's speech at the Uptown Theater. Reporting live, Haley Harrison, KNBC 9 News.